Good morning. My name is Felista. Today we'll be looking at troubleshooting in H and East 10. Sorry I've not been able to do this video, but today we'll get it done. One of the problems encountered during H and East 10 when the nuclei appeal. The hematoxylin stains the nuclei during H and East 10. So when the nuclei appeal, the cause could be that the hematoxylin was not let for the sufficient time it ought to stay. Or the differentiation step was for too long. Differentiation is the next step after methoxylin to remove a 16. But when it's left for too long, it removes too many of the methoxylin from the nuclei. So that is why we get the methoxylin nuclei staining pill. So the remedy is staining the slides at the right time with methoxylin and not leaving the differentiation for too long. Another problem encountered too is when the nuclei are overstained, which means that the hematoxylin will have been left for too long or the deposition was for too short. So the remedy is leaving the hematoxylin for the right time, not for a very long time, and the deposition should be done at the right time. Another problem, three, pale staining with eosin. Eosin is the acidic component staining the basic component of the cell, which is the cytoplasm. So when the cytoplasm is pale, one, it could be that the eosin is not acidic enough. So you could make it acidic by adding acetic acid. So the remedy is ensuring your eosin is acidic enough by bringing it to be to the acidic state of pH of 4.6 to 5. Another thing is, after, during the process of staining, the slides go through ascending grades of alcohol for removal of water. At this point, the lowest grade, which is 70%, could remove excess eosin. So the slide should not be left in that grade for too long. Hence, the entire stain might be removed, hence causing the cytoplasm to be pale. So like I said, the remedy for pale staining with eosin is making sure the eosin solution is acidic from bringing it up to 4.6 to 5 pH with acetic acid and ensuring the slides are not left for too long in the differentiating medium. Another problem, the fourth one now, the cytoplasm is overstained. That means the eosin was left for too long and the differentiation period is poor. So the problem could be that the eosin was left for too long and passing it through the differentiating alcohol too rapidly for good differentiation of the eosin to occur. So the remedy is ensure your eosin your solution is diluted, is not too conk, and allow enough time in the differentiating medium so you don't have a very pinkish smell slide. When there are water bubbles microscopically in the stained slide, the cause could be that the sections were not completely dehydrated and water is still present in the mountain slide. You know, like I said, after you stain it to your sink, you are moving through ascending grades of alcohol to remove water. So when this water is not completely removed before cover slipping, you could still see them microscopically. So the remedy is to remove the cover slip and the mountain medium with saline. Then return the slides to fresh absolute alcohol. After which the sections are dehydrated, clear with fresh dialing and mounted again. So we mentioned one, two, three, four, five problems now. So let's go to the sixth problem. Another problem we could encounter when we are staining is when the water and the slides turn milky. When the slides are placed in water following rehydration of alcohol. This is when we just want to start staining. After you've done your microtomy, you've made sure your wax have removed, you put them in xylene, and you want to take them to hematoxylene. Before going to hematoxylene, we need to rehydrate the slides by taking them through descending grades of alcohol. Descending, I mean by taking them from 190 to 7 so they can hydrate water. So at this point, when your water and the slides turn milky, that shows that xylene has not been completely removed by the alcohol. 
you know we take him from xylene to alcohol then gematoxin so when the alcohol does not completely remove the xylene you get to see a milky slide so the remedy is you change your alcohols back the slide up to absolute alcohol and dehydrate this section to remove the water from the slides before you proceed so the seventh one when white spots are seen in the section following the deprivatization step the deprivatization step that is the waxing is a step after microtomy when you place your slides in the old plates if you're using an automatic stainer there's another eating chamber to remove the wax so when the points where you're trying to remove the wax then you take it to xylene before you start your staining it's the deprivatization step so when you see white spots in your section microscopically the cause is these sections were not dried properly before beginning the paraphernization or the slides did not remain in any long enough for complete removal of the paraffin like i said after microtomy you allow your slides to dry off water then you put them on the hot plates then from the hot plates you take them to xylene before staining them from xylene descending grades of alcohol to rehydrate the slides before going to water then hematoxylene so when the wax is not completely removed and the xylene also was not left well, and the slide was not left enough in xylene to remove the paraffin you get to see these white spots so the remedy is ensure your slides are well dried before taking to drying then when they are in xylene please give them sufficient time in xylene so they can remove excess wax another problem is when we have blue black precipitates on top of your section the cause could be that the metallic sheen that develops on most hematoxylene solution has been picked up by the slide. Like I said, you're seeing blue black precipitate. Most times it's come from the hematoxylene. So the solution is ensure you filter your hematoxylene daily, depending on your work volume. If you have such a large volume every day, the hematoxylene solution needs to be filtered before staining your slide. So you don't have the blue black precipitates on your slides after staining which could have been picked up by the um slide in in the hematoxylene solution so another problem we'll be, you know, we'll be looking at is um when you have difficulty in bringing some of your tissue in focus with the light microscope like after staining you want to quickly look at some of your slides before passing them out so when you could do when you can bring this tissue in focus the problem could be that the cause could be that the mounting medium may be on top of the cover slip. Sometimes when you mount manually, you wouldn't know that excess of the mountant has dropped on top of the cover slip. So it makes it difficult for you to bring your sections to focus. So the solution is to remove the cover slip and remount with a clean cover slip. So you review the method used for mounting sections and modify if needed. So you don't have such problem reoccurring. Then another problem is when we have hazy blue nuclei. Like I said, the nuclei is the acidic component of the cell, which is stained by the basic component of the solutions, which is the hematoxylene. So when you have an hazy blue nuclei, that means this problem is coming from the hematoxylene solution. But what could have been the main cause? The main cause could be that due to the use of the too much heat on a tissue processor for processing holding the specimen too long in hot paraffin or too short period of fixation followed by dehydration directly into high alcohol so the remedy is ideally heat should be used during processing only for paraffin infiltrated step and tissue should not be held in hot paraffin if unable to embed infiltrated specimen for some reason allow them to solidify in the case set until ready to embed the warm only long enough to remelt. Tissue should be well fixed before processing, and your addition should begin with 65 to 70% alcohol. It's that clear. What that is saying is what could make us have an easy blue nuclei is when you're processing a very hot medium. Ideally, the only hot medium that should be doing during processing is 
when you're infiltrating with wax. The process of fixation, clearing, dehydration, there shouldn't be any eating system at that point. So it's even advised that when you're not ready to embed, you can allow the wax solidify on the tissue. So when you're ready to mount your slides or your tissues, you can melt them out. So the whole lesson is we don't want to expose the slide and um, tissues to too much heat so they don't affect the nuclei of the cells during staining. I hope that's clear. There are some other problems I can read up, so thank you.